In this one, we're um, gonna do. Um, we're gonna show how to um, implement um, checkpoints. So we'll go into our our world view, and next thing we want to do is um, add another object. Oh well, I should say another action. So I drag this in, set it to action. And all it is is just a uh, just a square PNG, a grey square PNG. So over here, we'll go into actions. We'll click on our checkpoint because that's what I named it. And the action type will change to set checkpoint. Now. Um, I would place this along all along the parts where you want to say you've just got past a, a certain point and you want to wanted to replay from from that part after you've got there I'll do a, a D to duplicate that one we'll say right here we when I get past here, D duplicate. When I get past, when I get past there, and for testing purposes and to speed it up, I'll just um, I'll just move this guy out the road for now. We can move him back any time. Okay, so um, I'll just jump on this um, platform. Oops, <laughs> not very good at it, I'm, I'm afraid. And as you can see, it um, now um, when he dies, and you click on the restart button, there's um, straight away you see. Well, why didn't it restart where um, we we placed the uh, where we placed the um, the rect the checkpoint? And what we need to do. you say oh well games UI well there's a little thing in there in the world UI it looks for um, if the the event where you get killed is game over so that is an event viewer which is a, a logic piece, piece which you drag into your UI and it's looking for the game over so so the world UI it goes to game over and it drags you into a, another UI so this um, restart button what this does will this is an action that will restart now we want to set this to restart checkpoint okay and I know this is probably for your advanced users. This is very simple stuff, and um, but this is um, probably more of a reminder to myself how to how this all works. So make sure on the re restart button, we set that to restart checkpoint. Okay, so we'll just um, we'll just test this guy out again. I'm hopeless at this. So when we restart this time, 
you'll notice that we start at the point where um, and now if we move to the next one and go to restart now that one goes to the second checkpoint that we crossed hit the restart and you'll start there now I do have a third one there but but I'm not going to bore you with showing <laughs> watching me fail each time on this one so that's the the basics of um, set checkpoints um, now what I would do after you've got them into the right place what I would do is just set the um, opacity to zero so it makes them invisible so it, it's it's not detectable so go along to each one of your checkpoints set them to zero so that way uh, the player is not aware that it's actually a, a checkpoint it just um, he goes along there and thinks oh yeah right yeah I've got past this point and it'll just take me back there every time so if you, you play it you And you hit your restart, and as expected, it, it it works. So that's just the the basics of um, of how to uh, on this one. So if we die here, it should, in theory, take us back to this point. If we um, we die here, hit restart, and as expected. So um, that completes the, the checkpoint part of this um, tutorial. Um, we're getting close to the end of the series. I'm not sure what else we're going to do. Probably the jump menu is about the last one I can think of. And there should be enough knowledge in this to um, get you um, through to making a basic platformer. So see you in the next one.